So um, I actually planned on retiring first um, my 35th birthday. Mm -hmm. And I basically told everyone that I had shot with and all the companies I was shooting with um, that I was going to be leaving. And so, and my plan was on my 35th birthday because and you know this from the old glamour days, the industry has changed a lot based on what girls look like and mm -hmm. what they're allowed to look like for shoots. Because mm -hmm. back then, your mom and people, <laughs> Stephen Hicks, you, they didn't, they would shoot with girls with tattoos, but they didn't want a lot of tattoos. There's no way they would have shot me with hair like this. Nope. <laughs> um, even nail colors. Like, I remember that we had to have French manicures or red or pink. Like, yep. I even showed up one time to shoot with Mark Litt. And I showed up with black nails and he freaked out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, I just got sick of having to look a certain way for so long, like for everyone else. And I just wanted to be myself. And so um, I decided my 35th birthday, you know, had been um, at that point, gosh, what was that? Like t almost 13 years in the business. And so I thought, okay, you know, because I never had plans to be in the business that long. Mm -hmm. Even even I thought I was going to be in the business like a year to, to help pay off school. Yeah, but, classic, classic <laughs> Yeah, story. and then here I am 20 years later, <laughs> made a career out of it. Um, but yeah, I um, so I, I was going to retire and I dyed my hair. And then um, I won Girls Way Girl of the Year. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And then I just told Girls Way, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. So for that last year in 2017, I basically only, um, I only shot for Girls Way. Mm -hmm. um, I did... Uh, two hot and mean scenes for browsers, which you shot my very last girl girl scene I ever shot before retiring. Was you shot that... me with Jenna Fox. Oh right, what was the scenario for that one? Uh, it was in the bathtub. We were in a bathtub. Oh yeah, that was a really nice bathtub. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass to shoot in though. Bathtub scenes are like the worst. Yeah, they're really especially when you have, you were tall like me. Like yeah. they're not all made for my height, so it's like trying yeah. to pose and then you're slipping on the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to be lotion so your skin doesn't look ashy, but. Then... And oh yeah. Everywhere. Well, my favorite is the, well, actually the last girl girl scene I did for twisties was in a bathtub <laughs> and oil too. Yeah. Uh, oil each other up in a bathtub. And yeah. I was like, it's a recipe for disaster. It's a recipe for fucking disaster. I mean like, thank God I workers comp cause someone's going to break their fucking neck today. <laughs> Didn't happen. Thank God. But yeah, whenever I see bathtub scenes and then yeah. when I see oil in there, I'm like, Oh, like there's even been times where I've shot them where, you know, the fans watching the scene can't tell, but I have like a towel Yes. It, and the bottom of it totally. with my knees on, you know, so I'm not sliding everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so that was my last shoot. And then um, as a lot of, well, you know for sure, but a lot of people know, I was the Twisties interviewer for yes. 12 years. Yes. <laughs> and I continued to do those after I stopped shooting with you. Right. But then one day I walked in and just told you, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> and the biggest reason was because um, I just decided I needed something else to do after doing that for so long. And so I... Um, an opportunity came up for me to own, co-own a, a fitness studio um, that I went to. And so I love the studio so much. I did everything that I could to keep it open. And um, I remember when you started to get into that kind of fitness. Yeah. So I became an instructor at the, or I started training to become an instru fitness instructor at the end of 2017, right before I retired. And then I retired except from doing the twisties interviews. But then I became an owner like a month after when I told you I was done because mm -hmm. it was just too hard for me to like have to be at my studio all the time, but then drive to set. And even though I wasn't there a lot, like a long time for the interviews, it still took time out of my day to drive across LA yeah. and, you Dude, know, people don't understand going to makeup. And then like, I actually spent more, <laughs> I'd be on camera for like 10, 15 minutes, but it would be yeah. six hours of my day, you know? And that's the thing about LA too. It takes so long to get anywhere. Like if I have lunch plans with someone, yeah. And they want to have lunch in Hollywood or something like yeah. that. Like that's literally my whole day. Yeah. So, um, and and then I so I be I owned a fitness studio. And um, when I when I started my OnlyFans again, I actually did a live in the beginning to explain to everyone. Um, but if you so if you were there and you've seen that, um, you already know this story. But um, I so I bought into this studio, and then not long after, my business partner totally screwed me over and I had to get lawyers involved and everything. And so it was already very touchy for me. And then once she was removed and I had the studio myself, I started growing it and it was doing amazing. And I was about to expand. We were the highest rated studio in my area. And then the pandemic hit. <laughs> 
And I ended up, um, I took an out about six months after the pandemic hit um, that my, because I, I had a commercial lease, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, it's, it's one thing to have a business online, like my website that I ran for so many years. It's a whole other story when you have a brick and mortar business. Mm -hmm. And so I had this big commercial lease and, you know, L.A. County was the first ones, you know, fitness was like one of the first things to be shut down. And we were shut down for so long, for like a year and a half. No one could have classes mm -hmm. indoors. Um, I have asthma, so I was petrified to catch COVID at the time when it was really bad. I, I did catch it last year, but it was Omicron. It wasn't bad at all. Yeah. And I'm fine. I don't have long COVID. But before that, when no one knew what was going on, I didn't want to put myself in that position to, like, yeah. to risk my health or my life. Right. And I would imagine also, too, with asthma, it's probably harder to wear a mask and work out. Yes. Yeah, so right? there was a period of time that first summer in 2020 when they allowed us in July to open our doors again. And I did. But, you know, not we could only hold so many people in class. And then you're teaching online at the same time. Um, and so it was – I'm wearing a mask. And then they, they even went so far as so we had to wear gloves, <laughs> like, like latex gloves. So you're, like, sweating and your hands are, oh, like, in these God. gloves. And I'm having to talk loud enough through the mask for people to hear me that are online watching the class. And and not only that, but, like, you have to demo more when you're doing virtual classes than when yeah. you're doing a class in person when right. you walk around and help people with their form and different things. So mm -hmm. um, it was I, – I was open for, like, two weeks, and then it was just me and one of my employees, and then she ended up getting sick. It wasn't COVID, but she got sick, but we didn't know what it was, and so she couldn't be there. And I was literally doing everything myself, like mm – -hmm having to clean everything myself and I'm not supposed to be inhaling all that stuff with mm -hmm. asthma and so finally I just I closed my doors and then they shut everyone down again anyway and then I just told my landlord like I need out and so thankfully he was able to give me an out um and then I was just really depressed because of everything I'd gone through like not just the pandemic but everything I went through with my my business partner the year before mm -hmm. it was just like it all drained me and yeah. I already have anxiety and depression <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like the universe was, like, against you. 